AC signals are voltages, currents, or numerical sequences that alternate between positive and negative values. This broad definition doesn't apply any restrictions related to the shape of the waveform. Square waves and triangle waves, for example, can be AC signals. However, sinusoidal signals, or sine waves, have a special place within the AC category. This diagram conveys some important characteristics of sinusoids. Sinusoidal signals are smoothly varying. The rate at which the amplitude changes, we call this the slope, is not constant and actually varies in a sinusoidal fashion. Sinusoidal signals occur in repeating cycles, and the number of cycles in one second is equal to the frequency in hertz. Real-life sinusoidal signals have amplitudes that vary with respect to time. However, we can also describe the horizontal progression of the signal using degrees, with a full cycle corresponding to 360 degrees and the halfway point at 180 degrees. We can mathematically generate a sinusoidal signal by means of the sine function or the cosine function. These functions operate on angles, and if we calculate and plot sine values from 0 to 360 degrees, we produce the sinusoid shown here. If we do this with cosine instead of sine, the curve will have the same sinusoidal shape, but with a different initial value. The three characteristics that separate one sinusoid from another are amplitude, frequency, and phase. Amplitude specifies the maximum distance between the horizontal axis and the vertical position of the waveform. For example, a 5 volt sine wave varies between plus 5 volts and minus 5 volts. Frequency tells us how quickly the sinusoid completes full cycles. This influences the signal's maximum transmission rate and determines how it is affected by capacitive and inductive components. Phase refers to the horizontal position, in degrees, of a waveform with respect to one cycle. Phase shift or phase difference describe the extent to which one signal is shifted to the left or right relative to another signal. In this diagram, the symbol theta indicates the phase shift between the voltage and current signals. The mathematical equivalent for the real sinusoids that we use in our circuits to account for different amplitudes, frequencies, and phase shifts is shown here. Amplitude is denoted by the letter A, frequency by F, and phase by the Greek letter phi. The independent variable is time, denoted by T. The quantity 2 pi f is equal to the angular frequency, which is denoted by the Greek letter omega, and this substitution is often made to simplify the formula. For more details, check out the link in the description, or visit allaboutcircuits.com.